Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Crafting with Mimi. So today I am going to do a really quick craft because I have a date tonight. Um, so I got these at Walmart. This is a three pack of these little shadow boxes and they're not quite six by six. I just measured them, but I'm gonna use all three of these. And what I'm gonna do first is just stain them. I mixed the sage color with fern color because they're both almost out. And then I, for one of the colors, I mixed a little yellow in it. So for the first one, I'm going to use the one that I mixed yellow in. I did add some water just to make it more watery because I just want to make like a little stain. So I'm just going to, I'm using a paintbrush. I usually use a wet wipe, but since I, since it's so skinny, I'm just afraid I'll get too much on the inside. So I'm just going to lightly go over the entire thing, leaving the middle alone. So I got my first board done and I love how bright and vibrant that is. And I did leave this one just um, the regular color. You can see where I got a little bit on here, but that's okay. It's not going to matter. I'm going to get my second color. I'm going to leave my paintbrush dirty. I don't care. It's not going to matter. And I'm going to use, you can see where it's like pretty sage color, maybe a little darker than sage. Because remember, I mixed um, the color fern with it, which is much darker than sage. But I'm just going to give these last two a coat of this. So I got all three of my boxes done. I'm going to give them a quick dry. So now that that's dry, or these are dry, I'm going to be using this gorgeous napkin. I love how pretty these leaves are. I just have this thing about florals and leaves, but look at the pretty little butterflies that are in it. So I'm just gonna cut this into four parts and I'm gonna put these in the boxes. Um, so each one is gonna look different, which I love. So to separate my plies, I'm just, I got a piece of painter's tape here. Sometimes you can find it pretty easy like that. Wow, okay. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything to that one. So you just get it and catch it and it's going to separate it for you. This has three plies, so I have to get that other, other one. You just want to keep pulling very gently until you find it. There we go. Very easy. That's the best way I have found to separate these. Okay, so I chose my three pieces. So what I'm going to do is just put it in the box. And since it's bigger than the box, I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to run my fingernail along the edge just to crimp it a little bit. That way I'm going to know where to cut it. Good. So this is how this one's going to look. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, I'm gonna do this to all of them. And then when I'm done, I'm going to take some Mod Podge, just regular Mod Podge. You can use glue, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna spread a good layer on the bottom of the box, it's nice and even. And I'm gonna put down my napkin. Now with my hand, y'all know I don't mind wrinkles. They are invited, actually. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna do the other two pieces and then I'll be back. So I have those all done. This one, I couldn't fit a butterfly in because I wanted it to look different. You can see that there's butterflies in this one and this one. So I want it to kind of match. This is the middle one. So I'm gonna to try to work it in here. And I think that is the perfect spot. You can always layer, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put a layer of Mod Podge right there and just set it right on top of that leaf. It's gonna overlap a little bit. It's gonna look amazing. See? 
I'm just gonna turn them over. I'm gonna make sure they're the right way. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take two painter sticks and put those right in the middle. I'm gonna use hot glue and wood glue to make sure they stay. Oops. I'm gonna put wood glue on one side and hot glue on the other just so we're not here all day. This is gonna keep them together without me having to do much work. When I turned it over, I realized I had two of the same pattern next to each other and that bothered me. So I quickly moved them around before it set up and now I really love it. You're gonna notice I added some hot pink accessories to this as well as a little bit of greenery just to bring out the colors in the flowers to make them pop more. I love how this turned out. The details in this napkin are just incredible. I love this piece. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and if you enjoyed this be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Just hit that subscribe button as well as the bell that way you'll know when I upload another video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next time. Y'all, something I forgot to mention in the video is that the napkin I used is part of my spring napkin bundle. It is not pictured yet because I just got this and I just couldn't wait to use it before I made the video and before I got it on my website. But if you go to craftingwithmimi.com, you will find the spring napkin bundle is on sale right now. It's free shipping. So take advantage of that while you can. I left a link either in the description or in the comments, depending on where you're watching from. So that's all I have for now. Bye.